Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my beautiful loves. Let's see what we have here for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, we're going to start with some child messages, uh, some oracle cards, and then the reading, okay? So, Taurus, the first word I heard, first of all, for you guys was busy. So I feel like you and your person are going to be very busy. I don't know if you're traveling or what it is that you're doing or maybe just juggling, you know, work and love life or whatever. Very busy. I don't know what y'all are doing, okay? Um, regardless from that, set apart from that. Um, I feel, Taurus, that you are um, having a conversation with your person, okay? Um I feel like the conversation is about wanting to make things work, wanting to really focus on the relationship, right? I feel the way you and your person are going to do this is by removing yourself from the public eye, okay? Um, maybe you're shutting down your social media or not posting pictures of you and your person, not telling your business to people okay you're gonna have people guessing you just don't people are not gonna know what you and your person are up to and i feel that that decision is gonna lead to some unbelievable changes in your life taurus okay um i feel like just you know there's a lot of people that want to be involved in what you have going on and i feel like you and your person are learning to protect your business, are learning to, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like it's really going to be a very positive thing for you and your person. Okay, tell me about Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus, please. Taurus, what does Taurus need to know to do, please, Spirit? you are good enough okay and under the deck we have step out of your comfort zone okay so taurus i feel like there may be people in your life that have told you you're never going to have a successful relationship you're never going to have a successful um you know, uh, life. Okay. Or maybe Taurus, you have been saying this to yourself that, you know, you're never going to meet the right person or you're never going to have anything successful or good in your life. But Taurus, I feel like, you know, it's there. You just had to step out of your comfort zone a little bit. Okay. Um, and it, the, the, the step that you're taking here, okay, which maybe at a previous time you would have felt very uncomfortable with that, is now going to really reap tremendous uh, effect here. So we've got financial constraints and blossoming abundance. So Taurus, the first thing comes to mind, I feel that some of you maybe don't have a lot of money. So you might feel that because you don't have a lot of money, you may not find a person in your life that will treat you well or that will want to stay with you, okay? Especially for my male Tauruses out there. I don't feel that that's the case, okay? Um, we've got blossoming abundance here. If that is the case, Taurus, if finances have been bad, they're about to get better way quicker, okay? Now, another thing I'm feeling here, Taurus, is going from a place of lack to extreme abundance, okay? Um, or going from, a, with financial constraints, I always see a five of pentacles type of energy with this, right? So let's just put it in a love reading context. This is you ghosting people or or keeping your situation private okay i feel like you may be telling people you're broke or you're telling people that things aren't good or telling people yeah no it's horrible but then behind doors it's blossoming abundance do you see what i'm saying you may be presenting yourself as no yeah our relationship is horrible and then you know it's amazing right you're you're just not telling your business or you you're coming off to people as yeah no everything's bad but everything's actually amazing like you're just not telling people what you have in your pocket okay don't tell people what you have whether that's financially or in any aspect clarity guidance love messages for my Taurus, please clarity guidance love messages for my taurus please clarity guidance love messages for my taurus please so we've got loss and travel loss and travel so taurus 
again, I, I felt that you were going to be very busy. Okay. I felt that you were going to be very busy. So again, remember I said you and your person might be traveling a lot. There is someone in your circle, Taurus, that misses you. They miss going out with you. They miss doing things with you. Okay. Um, now it could be here that this is the person that, um, you know, possibly wanted to be involved in your life, you know, Someone here may be upset that they didn't win your attention, possibly. And they're just feeling a loss. Like, someone here is feeling a loss. Um, like, they've lost you. So, it could be those people, Taurus, that you are shutting out of your life. Or that you're just not telling your business to anymore. Okay? Tell me about Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus, please. Okay. So we've got twin flames, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, coupling and complementing each other. Okay. Butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Okay. The sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, power, and protection. So Taurus, this is interesting. Okay. So first of all, Yes, twin flame energies can be very chaotic, really bad. If you have one person or even both people that are not awakened or not willing to learn or grow or start their spiritual journey, it could be disastrous, okay? I feel like what we have here, Taurus, is a situation where you may be in a twin flame connection, but it's the type of connection that you guys are both willing to evolve. You're both willing to grow. Even if you guys trigger each other, even if you guys have problems, you have the ability to maturely sit down and handle the situation, learn from it, and grow from it as a unit. And this is where twin flames can be amazing, okay? Um, um, but again, if you're dealing with a twin flame situation where one flame is not awakened or, you know, it could be the worst situation of your life, you know. So with the sword and the rose, I feel like there's a realization that this is something unique. This is something beautiful. This is something that not everybody has. And therefore, there is a need to protect it. Okay. There is a need to protect it, to keep it to yourself. Okay. Okay. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Taurus, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Taurus, please. Ooh, okay. So we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So Taurus, I feel that you and your person have a lot of baggage from the past, okay? Childhood trauma, exes, you know, things that friends have done to you, whatever. And that's what twin flames do. They trigger those emotions. They trigger that baggage. They trigger the the negative effects that those past situations have had on you, right, Taurus? Um, and I feel that you guys are deciding to, even though you're triggering each other, um, give the connection a chance uh, so that you forgive each other and you also forgive the people from your past. With chemistry here, you're going to find that you and your person are very drawn to one another. With twin flame connections, even if it's a very new connection, you guys are like this, always wanting to be together, okay? Um, so let's see what we have here for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, please, Spirit. Tell me about Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please, Holy Spirit. Tell me about Taurus, please. What do we need to know today for Taurus? I honestly don't like the way that came out, but we'll take it, okay? Um, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, and the Knight of Cups. More water energy here. Tell me about Taurus, please. 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 About Taurus. Okay. And we've got the Four of Cups and the World card here. Yep. Okay. So, interesting. 
Okay. All right. So Taurus, here's the deal. We've got the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So this is a lot of love. This is giving love, romance, high levels of commitment, um, following your intuition. This is giving a lot of love to someone, okay? And with the world card and the four of cups, I feel like you're leaving everyone else in the world out of it, okay? These people may be feeling shut out or lonely or rejected, not getting attention, okay? So you are not giving attention to anyone else or anything else. Your eyes and your heart are only on one person with the page of pentacles and the star card here aquarian energy and the nine of cups i feel that taurus you know exactly what you want you prayed for something you manifest something and you got it okay and you got it but with the devil card in the tower uh, Capricorn energy, Aries, Scorpionic energy. What is required here, Taurus, is that these negative um, behavioral patterns or entities in your life have to come down, okay? Have to come down. So there may be you know, um, you know, uh, different options that you had previously, or just in general, people that want ill for your connection, those people have to be torn down, pushed away. You know what I'm saying? Now, this could also be a representation of, you know, Taurus, possibly something that you were doing in previous connections that would always disrupt relationships. It could be a drug habit, drinking habit, living in the ego, lying, cheating, stealing. Um, maybe there was an issue with mental illness. Something here was constantly causing cracks in a foundation in your connections. Um, now, again, this could be a representation of other people like family or friends, or it could be a representation of your own inner demons. And this is what needs to be released in order for you to get what you asked for, what you pray for, and what you manifest. And I think, Taurus, that you're able to do that. You're, that's what you're doing. You know, you're cutting out all the negative people in your life, cutting out whatever doesn't serve anymore for your highest good. Tell me about this Queen of Cups here for Taurus, please. We've got the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Cups for Taurus, please. The Knight of Cups for Taurus. Page of Wands and the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Okay. So Taurus, what was happening here was this Queen of Cups energy was not receiving the love or the emotional fulfillment um, that was needed for this person, okay? And I feel like with the Knight of Cups here and the Page of Wands, this is that conversation taking place of with the eight of swords in the reverse i'm going to unbind myself from whatever toxicity there is um you know if i'm you know if i have a lot of options and that makes you uncomfortable i'm going to free myself from that if my family makes you uncomfortable i'm freeing myself if my friends make you uncomfortable i'm freeing myself um i feel that that taurus there was someone here that was feeling maybe neglected or shut out in some way shape or form um or rejected in some way, shape, or form, and there was a decision here of, you know what, I'm going to give my love to you and just you, and I'm freeing myself of, I'm freeing myself, sorry guys, okay, I'm freeing myself of, you know what I'm saying, whatever doesn't serve. Yeah, see the judgment card, the three of wands and the five of pentacles. I feel like someone here was called to make a decision on what they truly want. But this this doesn't come without sacrifice, Taurus. So you can have what you've been manifesting here, okay? But it's going to call for you to defend it from third party energies, all right? It's going to call for you to defend it from the snakes that want to take it from you. Tell me about the world card here for Taurus. We've got the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups here for Taurus and the Six of Pentacles. So I feel, Taurus, that you are shutting the door on what doesn't serve. You're focusing on this new love, giving all you have to this new situation. You're giving all you have to this person who possibly felt hurt by you, neglected by you. Um, you know what I'm saying? Maybe felt like you weren't taking the love that they had to offer. All right. And with the sun card here, the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands, I feel like you're, you're 
you're pursuing this with such confident passion. You've been so enlightened that, you know, you're just going to keep your eyes zoned in on this one situation. You're going to give it your all. Do you understand what I'm saying? And free yourself from whatever doesn't serve. And with the nine of cups under the deck here, that's what brings you emotional fulfillment. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Tauruses, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus. Okay, so we have the Judgment card, Sagittarian Energy. We have the Empress in the reverse, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian Energy. We have the Six of Swords in the reverse. And we have the five of wands in the reverse. Okay. So Taurus, the person on this side had made a final judgment call of, you know what? I'm not, I have nothing left to give to this. Okay. So Taurus, I feel like there was someone here in your life that possibly, you know, was like, listen, either you want me or you want all of them. You understand what I'm saying? So you need to, you know, and someone here made a final decision of I'm not going to give to this anymore. Okay. Because I, it, there, it's just that there's nothing to manifest here. There's nothing to, I don't feel safe. I don't feel stable. I don't see a future here. So I'm making a, a judgment call of this isn't for me. Okay. So what's happening here with the six of swords in the reverse and the five of wands in the reverse, someone here is coming back to this empress energy and saying, listen, with the five of wands in the reverse, there is no competition. I'm not going to make you jealous. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to make you feel unsafe or unstable. I'm coming back to do the right thing. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Tell me about, ooh, my right ear just started ringing really bad. Tell me about the judgment card for Taurus, please. We've got the knight, excuse me, the knight, the hanged man in the reverse. Tell me about the empress in the reverse, please. And the king of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I feel here, Taurus, that the person on this side came to the realization of I'm just giving love, time, attention, emotion, and dedication to somebody here that, you know, doesn't care about me. That's, that's, that was how this person felt. Okay. This, this person felt like, um, someone like the love was unrequited almost. Okay. Tell me about the six of swords in the reverse and the chariot cancerian energy. Tell me about the five of wands in the reverse. And the strength card, Leo energy. So Taurus, there's an energy here and there's that Knight of Cups again that we saw right here and the death card, okay? And the death card, um, Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy and the Six of Wands. Um, okay, so I feel... <sighs> Taurus, what's happening here is when this person really starts to pull back their energy is when the person on this side says, you know what, I'm coming in, I'm coming back, um, I want to do the right thing. I'm going to hold back and refrain from anybody that's trying to cause drama in our life, okay? With the Death card and the Knight of Cups, someone here is going through a major change, major transformation, Scorpionic energy. Um, they're coming forward with a lot of love and with the queen of wands and the six of wands this person wants to make it clear to everyone that this is the only person that i want do you see what i'm saying um and with the ace of swords and the high priestess i feel that you know for the most part you guys are keeping your business to yourselves. You're going to take the action here to remain remote, to not speak to people, to remain mysterious, to just keep your business to yourself. So there may have been an issue, Taurus, where someone here um, was very much in the public eye. Maybe someone here liked attention or liked to flirt or had a wandering eye or just had a lot of people that they were dating before you. Do you see what I'm saying? Or, you know, you were doing that. I don't know, Taurus. Um, but someone here is deciding to just, you know, focus on one person and one person only and let go of everything else. Okay. Tell me of what the strength card, the strength card. Tell me about what the challenge here is for Taurus, please the challenge for Taurus. Okay, 
So we've got the King of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So Taurus, here's the deal. And we have the High Priestess under the deck, uh, Piscean, Cancerian energy. So the challenge here is that somebody is going from possibly being a very like mean narcissistic energy they're going from that to being very nurturing kind loving and committed and with the wheel of fortune here this is what i'm saying like someone here is about to make a decision to with the high priestess here um operate from a place of wisdom uh being more low-key do you see what I'm saying? Someone here is just being more low-key. They're operating under the radar. They're focusing on just one person, their life. And I feel like with that re Wheel of Fortune, it's going to reap tremendous benefits. But it is a challenge. You understand? Because you have someone here that's been operating from this negative vibration or this lower vibration for so long. And now this person's trying to be the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Very caring, nurturing, loving, stable, kind, committed, responsible right because with the wheel of fortune someone here wants their blessings you understand and i feel like someone's just operating on the dl they don't want attention from anybody and they don't want to give attention to anybody other than this connection tell me about the outcome here for taurus please the outcome for taurus please okay so we've got the justice card in the reverse libra energy we've got the five of pentacles in the reverse and we have the death card in the reverse scorpionic energy and the ten of wands under the deck um with the four of wands okay so taurus what's happening here is that one person was being treated unfairly and the other person understands that with the five of pentacles in the reverse this person is coming back around they don't want to lose this connection they don't want to you know what i'm saying they're valuing what they have and with the death card in the reverse this person just doesn't want this to end do you see what i'm saying they don't want this to end with the ten of wands and the four of wands um i feel like some Someone here is overwhelmed with the spiritual connection that they feel here okay they're overwhelmed with you know the 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 strong sense of you know that chemistry okay and being with you or you being with them Taurus is more important than anything else that they have to release okay and with the um page of swords under the deck and the nine of swords yeah someone here is watching this happen taurus you you have people that are watching this happen um nine of swords ten of swords and the ace of cups yeah you're moving on to new love here and you've got people that are watching this happen and they fear that there be that you know you're cutting them out of their out of you're cutting them out of your life for good okay so these may be like friends with benefits people that you had sexual encounters with people that you know have crushes on you people that cause problems in your connection people are looking at this and they're realizing wow taurus is really gone the taurus is really focusing on this new love situation um and that's it and with the nine of wands here taurus all you're doing is defending and protecting your peace here with temperance okay uh from with the seven of cups all of these people okay you're you're just protecting your abundance you're protecting your blessings from all these people that just you know what i'm saying don't serve these people aren't bringing anything into your life they don't you know they're, they're just extras you understand okay so guys i love you so much and take care bye loves